At the height of European imperialism, a dangerous belief took root. The theory of the superior white race. Europeans sought to prove their superiority by claiming that people with elongated skulls, known as dolichocephalic, were more intelligent. Swedish scientist Anders Retzius was at the forefront of this belief, declaring Nordic people as the epitome of dolichocephalic intelligence. However, this theory was met with resistance by French scientists who were brachycephalic and refused to accept that their skull shape was a sign of lesser intelligence. But the biggest challenge came when they later discovered that black people were the most dolichocephalic humans in the world, with the most elongated skulls. Shocked, scientists used mental gymnastics to reconcile this by claiming that black people's delicocephaly was due to larger occipital lobes and smaller frontal lobes, apparently also considered a sign of lesser intelligence. Meanwhile, French brachycephaly was explained as simply a result of wider faces and not related to supposed lack of intelligence. This mental gymnastics is a testament to how far the scientists were ready to go to justify false theories based on racist ideology.